Hi everyone, the next formation we're going to be looking at in our seminar side formation is the 1-3-2-1 formation. So we're just going to touch on some basic ideas around both in and out possession and the benefits of using this formation, but also how you can help use this formation to support your uh, players. I think when we look at the in possession, um, the main thing for me is that you're going to be able to create depth and width through our centre forward, but also through the wing backs. And what that enables you to do is create lots of diamonds, whether that's through your goalkeeper, your two centre backs and your centre mid on the right side or similarly through the left side. You've also got a central diamond as well between your centre back and centre forward and your two uh, midfield as well. So that enables you just to always have a base of the diamond and then someone at the top. If your centre midfield is stay wide, obviously that makes that diamond even bigger and that's maybe where you can potentially look at your wing backs coming inside as well, which is a little bit more advanced, but again, add some really nice things um, and ways of using the formation to support with overloads and um, creating underlaps, etc. Um, but in terms of your, your in possession work as well, I think generally you find most teams at seven aside play a, a 2 3 1 or a 3 1 2 and only have one central midfielder. So when you look at, for example, if you're playing against a uh, 2 3 1 formation, is that you're going to have those overloads in those, that central area. You're going to have a 2 v 1 against the central midfield player. If they go narrow uh, to deal with that, that's going to give you lots of space for your full backs to get out and attack. Likewise, if they stay really wide, that might be where your central midfielder can look to receive between the lines to break through. And you can start introducing some basic movements of one going in short and one going in long and how you uh, can use that to benefit your, your advantage. The other thing as well with that is once the ball's played into the central forward area, you've always got those options of how the central midfielders can support. Just the same as if the wing back gets the ball wide, you can talk about potentially one central midfielder joining the attack and maybe one holding. So again, just giving some basic ideas um, around some structure that may support you when you're using this formation. So if we look at the out of possession work, I think the big thing for me is that when you're playing with a, your 3-2-1, um, is that you've got two central midfielders and a pack three. So it's going to give you lots of numbers um, and a really strong base. When we spoke earlier about the five-a-side formations, we spoke about the importance of having that triangle and having a really strong triangle base. This formation really gives you that, you know, with your one and your two, but you also your, your full-backs being narrow. So in terms of helping the goalkeeper protect the goal, it's an excellent formation to play on. Again, when you're looking at attacking play and once you've won the ball back, you can really talk about how your wing-backs can join in that attack. And that importance of that transition of regaining or um, the ball and, and looking into attack, you know, you're going to get lots of opportunities where you can have potentially both wing backs joining in to help the centre forwards. The most important thing is that if they do that, obviously you're only going to have one player at the back leaving a 1v1. So they're going to have to recover back quickly to help them. Or you may speak about if one wing back joins in the attack, the other one stays back to give you uh, an extra player or likewise it might be if both wing backs go you might speak to one of the central midfield players about dropping in so you've got some different ways of playing around the formations when you're out of possession as well lastly when we're looking at the formation um, this is a great formation to help you sort of switch play as well um, you know you're going to have lots of opportunities of using your centre forward to, to switch play from getting um, you know, into your man and then out the other side. So this is a great way of saying to your central midfielders, you know, if you play into one central midfielder, if he plays in centre forward, you can get out on that other side. So that's going to help you create lots of 2v1s. Um, so, for example, if you're playing against a 2-3-1 a formation, you're going to get those overloads in, in the areas when you've, you're what, um, your wing back joins in the attack. Um, so you'll have... Um, you know, both both players, potentially centre forward, coming on that one side to create a, a 2v1 here. Um, likewise, if your centre forward stays central, your centre midfielder may again create 2v1. So just with the numbers that you're going to have going forwards in this formation, there's going to be lots of opportunities to create overloads and support with that as well.
Um, so just to recap, um, if we look at the in possession, um, you're going to get lots of width and depth with your team through your wing backs, but also through your centre forwards. You're going to have lots of opportunities of creating diamonds between your midfielders, your defensive unit and the goalkeeper on both sides. And just the same, you've got that, that um, diamond between the centre back, two central midfielders and centre forwards. Centre mids are going to have loads of opportunities to try and receive between lines or potentially getting the ball out wide and you know, talking to your wing backs about making runs inside. Um, and there's be chances for you to get overloads just because of the numbers with the two centre midfielders and your wing backs. You'll get opportunities, particularly in wide areas, to play um, 2v1s, 3v1 situations as well. And when we look at out of possession, there's a big emphasis on making that triangle to help you protect the goal between the centre back and two central midfielders. And that importance of your wing backs recovering quickly in transition if both go, or if one goes, either your one wing back stays in or a centre midfielder drops into that space to help protect uh, the goal and obviously spoil any counter-attacking plays too.